it's people in the world who don't give it, have the opportunity to have a hot meal. It's people who don't have the opportunity to have warm clothes. It's people who don't have the opportunity to have a house with you know, a roof over their head. Um, you know, their life is extremely blessed, and you know, we're going to go help out a lot of people. And that's kind of what my message was to them. And you know, they were very happy and excited about it. So I was happy that they were, they were willing to come with me today. So it's like a little. little Example for them, you know, to see that you know life is precious. And, you know, when you're a blessing, it's your duty to be a blessing to others, and that's all we're trying to do. And of course, being away from—I mean, you've do, done this every year, but with the pandemic, being away from the community, and now being here again with the people. And how does that feel? Your fans, uh, people. Are... It's always awesome. You know, we're we're here every single day to practice. You know, we're right here in the Ward A community. You know, one of the most purple communities in DC, you know, that needs a lot of attention and help and you know we're right here in the backyard. And it's always fun to be able to come out and see their faces and just interact with, with the people in the community. And for me it's this this is this is everything. You know, this this means the world to me. This is bigger than the basketball, bigger than anything I've ever done on the floor. Um, just to put smiles on people's faces and make an impact even if it's just a split second a moment or even hopefully a lifetime. You alluded to this Brad but just how much need is there in this city and in this community and around the country? Uh, it's imperative, man. It's, it's tough because we all, everybody has a, a place to, everybody has a duty in a way to, to contribute and, and help the community and help the person next to them. Um, especially us as athletes, as celebrities, as people who are put on these pedestals, um, as people who are looked up to, you know, we have to be at the forefront of, of being vocal, of being attentive, of being present, you know, of, giving back to the community as best as we can. Um, you know, we can't just be stars, you know, just in, in our job. You know, we have to be stars and, and uh, being great citizens too. So, you know, I definitely take pride in it. And that's what the world needs. You know, we all need world love. We all need peace. And, um, you know, this is no better way of doing it than you know, showing your love for people around you and providing for What's the significance of doing something else around the holidays? Uh, I mean, everybody knows holidays is, is a tough season for everybody. Everybody's scrambling to provide, and, uh, you know, whether it's gifts, food, whatever the occasion. You know, it's tough on a lot of families to be able to come up with funds uh, and all the right necessities, you know, for them to have a successful holiday season, you know, so I always, this is always the most important time of the year, um, you know, to give back, because families, they, they give their last check, they give, you know, every single thing that they have to be able to provide and make a holiday what it is and make it special, so this just tries to lighten them up. Hey, Brad, I heard a couple of kids say, it's Bill, it's Bill. Just been, for them to see you so close on the first show, helping them out, and this would be a special moment for them. What does that mean for you knowing that you made an impact on a young child's life? I take value in it, you know, it's, it speaks volumes to know that, um, you know, they see me in that light. Um, it, it humbles me in a lot of ways because, you know, I don't necessarily always understand and see the impact that it actually does have on people. You know, I may speak on it all the time, and, but you never genuinely know until, you know, you cross paths with that person and see it, you know, the interaction on their face. So, you know, to hear that and see it is always surreal in a lot of ways. You know, I never thought I'd, I'd be in that position or in this position. Uh, but at the end of the day, like, to be able to provide for youth and give back to them and then be super appreciative, man, that's that's awesome. Like, that is just nothing like it, honestly. Um, outside of, you know, this of course, what are some other traditions that you do for the holidays that your family is doing or coming up in this area or just within your family? Well, I mean, my wife will do some things. She usually does things uh, where she gives out food and stuff to the homeless uh, during this time of year too. She'll just drive around D.C. and uh, D.C. is very, hits hard with a lot of homelessness in the area. So we, she goes around and truck full of food and tries to provide water, food, and uh, like some toiletries to, to homeless people um, around the city. And, uh, right after this is Christmas time, so you know the people are in stores and holiday shopping. I'm pretty sure I'll come up with some, uh, some cool ideas this year too, but you know, I'm always in the spirit of giving back and providing and making everybody's holiday season you know, a little bit easier and special. Favorite Thanksgiving dish? Ooh, mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, yeah. Turkey mac and cheese. <laughs> I don't eat everybody's mac and cheese, so it's gotta be, gotta know what you're doing in the kitchen. And what are you making? 
Uh, I don't know. We'll be in Miami, so that's that's gonna be a little different for me. Uh, I don't even know. Miami celebrates Thanksgiving. It ain't even cold down there. Uh, my bad, John. My bad, man. My bad. You've been you've been around long enough to see the team build its uh, headquarters here in this neighborhood and you see homes building up here. What are your hopes 10 years out for more for, for, for this particular board in, in D.C.? Uh, honestly, to still see some of the people that are in the community still remain here. You know, I think that's one of the toughest challenges is that when you're building up a city, um, you know, you kind of kick a lot of families out of their houses sometimes. You kick a lot of small businesses out of their, their jobs and stuff like that. So I would really like to see those things sustained uh, within the area and provide affordable housing for people in the area. Um, provide, you know, the jobs and the equal opportunity for the jobs here that are going to be here for the hospital. The new health center over there as well. Like, it's, it's, it's a lot of opportunity for, for people to be able to really truly make a living right here in this community. I just hope they're all granted the same opportunities. Brian, how do you hope to see this event grow in, in the next year? Uh, I don't know. We always try to do something different. Um, you know, years past, we've been in way turkeys, frozen turkeys, but it's going to give away hot meals this year. We're not actually here during Thanksgiving week, so it made it a little tougher for us. Um, but the biggest thing is just trying to be impactful, you know, showing our faces, showing that we care, that we're appreciative of their support for allowing us to be right here in their backyard and then this is this is our way of just showing our love and appreciation back to them you know any way we can make holiday seasons easier on families uh their traditions and we know how hard people work and try to gather up their last dollar to be able to provide for, their, for themselves and their families um, you know and this is this is the easiest thing that we can do at the very minimal you know so i'm very happy that we're, we're able to be at the forefront of these things but hopefully as you said you know, we continue to grow it um, to a way bigger magnitude. Right, last year people were still pretty masked up. Does it give you a little bit more appreciation just being able to see people's smiles again? Of course. I mean, it's, it's everyday life, you know. Uh, what we endure on a day-to-day, basketball-wise, being, being away from staff, being away from the people that work in our facility every single day. Uh, to be able to get back to those interactions is awesome. Get back to interactions with everybody, even you guys. Like it's, it's, we're getting back to normal, and so that's that's always good to be able to be a part of and uh, just establish more relationships. And, uh, the biggest thing is, like you said, seeing smiles on people's faces, you know, just seeing people happy.